And now we're going to move on to the variables tab and talk a little bit about using bullet points. So lists and bullet points are a really great way of presenting a lot of different types of data. So you could take a bigger, wordier block of text and try to break it down into bullet points. And it really makes it easier to get your ideas across and can streamline your presentation. You can also use lists for things like the steps in your procedure or the materials that you use in your project. And here I'm using bullets just to talk about my different variables. So there's a couple different things that you can do in this program. You can change it between um, just the dots, the bullets, or a numbered list if you prefer that. And you can also create sub lists um, kind of nested within each other like I have here by changing the indentation with these two buttons. So you can move it forward and move it backward like that. So that's pretty handy. And then moving on to the observations tab here, I'm going to talk about adding pictures and photos. So how you do that is with this button over here, the little mountain. Uh, there's a couple different ways that you can add a photo. You can use a URL link or you can also upload it directly from your computer, uh, which is probably the easiest option. And then from that menu here, you can also change the width and the height, so the size of the photo. You can also add a bit more of a border if you like. So I'm going to give my picture a thicker border there. And there we go. And if you add pictures, you probably want to add a figure caption as well. So you can label the figure, you can give a little bit of a description of what you're actually seeing in the picture, and you can add the source if it's not a picture that you took yourself. So we really encourage adding lots of photos to break up the text in your project. Remember that a picture is worth a thousand words. There's a ton of different stuff that you can show with pictures. You can add them as diagrams or information in your background research section. You can use it to show different steps in your procedure, maybe even you working on your project. Um, and you can also use it to show your results and the observations that you see. So pictures are really great. And then just a note about adding charts and graphs. So this program itself doesn't really have a method of generating any graphs, but you can generate a graph from your data in Excel or any other graphing software that you want to use. And then I would suggest just taking a screenshot of that graph, saving it as an image, and then just uploading it like any other image with that button there. And then moving on to the analysis tab, we're going to just talk a little bit about tables to finish off here. So again, tables are another way of presenting information in a really nice, clear, organized way. This is easy to read. It can be numerical data, like your results, or you can also use it to add text. So it could be the observations that you're seeing um, on each day or within a different trial, or really whatever um, format is going to work for your project. So you can add a table by clicking on this button over here. You add the rows and the columns that you're looking for. You can also change the border size. And then if you want a title on your table, which is always nice to have, you would put that in the caption section right there. And then that produces the title above the table just like this. And that is just normal text, so you can change the bolding and the underlining, anything else that you would want. So that about wraps it up for our formatting tips for today. I hope that this video gave you guys some ideas to get started with. Remember to use your creativity and really make the project your own. So get started, start playing around with the program, and good luck with your projects, and remember to have fun. Thanks! For more great tips and information about the Calgary Youth Science Fair, make sure you check out our website at cysf.org. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.